But let's say a um, simple example. Somebody says something mean to you, something that's not true, you know, something that's, um, that's a lie that's about you. And then you resent that person. Okay? Well, what happens when you resent that person? Well, you become angry, you become upset, you become resentful. And when you do, don't you kind of fall away from what, what you could have been? See, what you could have been. You could have been a, a, a prince or a princess. See? And people, great people that we read about in novels or in real life, they somehow, they hang on to themselves, to who, to the real them. And that real them has patience and kindness and long-suffering and wisdom and understanding and courage and the beautiful virtue. See, that, that's what you would have, would have been. But the moment you resent someone, you fall away from that. See? Just like Adam fell away from paradise, he lost it, he became an animal in a jungle hell. Well, isn't that what happens to you the moment you resent someone or resent anything? You fall away from what you could, from the noble, gracious, wise, thoughtful, forgiving, understanding person you could have been and you become what? You become immediately diminished. You feel that you're diminished. You feel the loss. You feel the emptiness. See? And then what do you do? You resent even more and blame the other person. See? And then there's another diminished. You can become so diminished through your resentments. See? Someone, especially someone near you that you resent all the time. See? Your wife, your husband your mom, see, your parent, someone who you resent all the time. You become so diminished that you don't even know who you are anymore. Then you go out looking. You see, actors, actresses trying to find themselves. Try, try, see, they're trying to find it in the world. They're trying to find love in the world, validation in the world. They're trying to find who they are. See, and they put on quite an act, don't they, sometimes? Sometimes the, the people that you see on the stage or on television or, or the life of the party types or the very clever types who laugh, make everybody laugh, the comedians, inside they're empty. It's all a compensation. But anyway, let's get back to the very simple point. The minute you resent someone, you're diminished. Now the other thing is the minute you idolize someone. It says in the Bible we're not to make idols. See, if you, if you idolize anyone, it should be your creator. If you are in awe of anyone, if you worship anyone, if you love, see, the good, it should be your creator. Christ said, why do you call me good? There's no one good but my Father in heaven. See, But when you worship someone else, now why do you worship someone else? You look up to them, you admire them, you think well of them. Why? Well, first of all, you want something from them. Remember the exchange process? You want them to think well of you. You you worship them so that they will worship you back or think well of you or give you some perks, see, of some sort. Okay? Or um, you, want, you want a piece of them. Now we're getting back to this identity thing again, this identity exchange. You want a piece of them. If they, if you set them 